Away from politics, we are talking matters education, and in this case, we are looking at the Nachivale refugee settlement in the Sinjiro district, where we have had uh, the Education Cannot Wait Consortium, where over 10 humanitarian agencies in a consortium have extended support in education. I had a conversation with the Sinjiro leaders and some of the lead agencies, and this is what they told me. Much as uh, this program, the Education Cannot Wait Consortium, is coming to a conclusion, we have not abandoned the community. We have structures and systems in place that have been set up to aid uh, the transition from this project uh, to other, other systems. For example, we have uh, projects under uh, European Union that also focuses on education. And also partners have reached even outside refugee communities to build some schools enabling communities so as also to appreciate what they are doing in the district. We have like Rushoroza St. Mary's, we have uh, Sharia Primary School. An educated mind is a brushed mind. This person cannot uh, think of going to steal somebody's thing because he's uh, earning to put it on the table by himself. They come with a lot of anxiety, and uh, when they don't get into, you know, education system, usually they keep loitering around the refugee settlement, and this sometimes can lead to crime. But the senior leader, leaders say that when they get into school, at least this at the political command center. Good morning. Well, thank you very much, Alex Mugashi.